Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Yale Smart Living Garage and Shed Alarm. Okay then, so I bought this the other day from uh, Tool Station, I think it was, they're about £20. And the reasoning behind it is, as you know, if you've seen the videos before, we've used this uh, unit here for servicing mowers, etc. We need bigger space, this stuff's got to go, we need to be um, using the, the whole area. So we've set up a new smaller workshop elsewhere that we're going to do small engine repairs and these types of videos in. So hopefully we move all the way over to there, that'll be great. And we've got camera systems up at both places. Now I've got a camera system and I've got an integrated alarm. And as a neighbour said to me, now I can see you've got a camera system and an alarm, that's great. I've got a camera system. Um, I'm not really sure about how good it'll be. And I said, look, you know, I'll have a look at these for £20. I think it could be a real good buy because the camera system's great. You can see what's going on, that's fine. If you can get there, that's even better. However, when you've got a loud siren or an alarm, that's a deterrent, not only to the people who are breaking in there who shouldn't be there, but to neighbours and other people who are around, it notifies them that something's going on that shouldn't be going on and maybe they can intervene or the people will just scarper. So for £20, we'll open it up, we'll see how it works, see if we can program it and see how loud it actually is. So let's have a look inside the box. I'm presuming we needed some sort of screwdriver, screwdrivers, and I know it's four AA batteries. They didn't come with it. Security sealed, which is always a good start. Okay, not a lot in there. Little instruction booklet bit of cardboard and there's the alarm itself now it's a tiny little thing now with this I thought you can mount this inside your shed garage wherever put it on the wall ceiling if you like whatever you want to do above the door is always a good place because people are walking it's already activated um, you can move it around different places put it on a shelf hide it behind something as long as the PIR sensor is showing on the front it'll work no problem it's only a four pin code, you haven't got to be Einstein to work it out, have you? One, 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 two, three, four, whatever you're going to use, it's, it's not going to be difficult. But it's a visual deterrent because they might see it and it's definitely a deterrent when they hear it because hopefully it'll be loud. So to set it up and program it, we have to open the battery case and as I thought, there is a screw in the bottom. I don't know if that one or this one might work. Yeah, it does. Put that to one side and keep it safe, eh? Right, and that comes off. Oh, there's a couple of mounting screws in there as well. So if you do want to put it on the wall, you can put it in. Now, I just have to have a quick flick through the instructions and see exactly how we program this. I'm not sure, so I don't want to put the batteries in and it start going off and then I can't work it out. So give me a couple of minutes and I'll be right back with you. Right then, I think I've got it. It seems pretty simple, but there's a couple of things I'd like to point out before we start. I've got batteries here, AA batteries, that I'll, I'm gonna put in. But I noticed on the top, and it doesn't say anything about this in the instructions, or on the tool station website when I looked at it. There's actually two sockets on the top, and the first one is an external siren socket, so I presume you can plug another siren in there and put it on the front of your shed or garage or somewhere else, and it'll be even louder than, than this is. Or, on the other side, there's an AC adapter socket, 4.5 volts. So if you've got mains electricity where you're going, you can plug it in and you can put a wire straight into the top and it'll be hardwired and you'll never have to change the batteries. So they're two massive plus points, so for £20 it's already looking good. Right. Now I'll put these batteries in and put them in. And just for those who aren't sure, the flat end always goes at the spring. So just pop these in. Before I put the last one in, I've got to be quick because you put the last one in and it arms straight away. Now, as soon as you put the last one in, you put your code in. So the code can be any combination of those numbers, just four digits. So for the purposes of today, and make it easy, we'll use one, 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 one. Okay, so as soon as I put this in, we should hear a beep and that flash, and then I'll press one, 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 and that arms it. Now, once I've done that, 
you have 30 seconds to clear the area. So I'll just sit this here and we'll have 30 seconds and after 30 seconds, this then becomes active. So if anybody moves or detects any heat in the room, it's gonna set itself off. So hopefully we should hear a nice loud siren. We won't have time to put the back on, we'll just set it. And then once it's done, we'll turn it off and put the back on, right? Here goes. There we go, we heard the beep. One, 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 maybe. Then we'll set it down and we'll leave it there for 30 seconds. I think I'd better cut you now and we'll come back when it's going off. Well, <laughs> I sat here for about two minutes. I thought 30 seconds, it'll go. It'll go any second, it'll go any second, it'll go any second. It didn't go off. I thought, well, why hasn't it gone off? I had a quick read of the instructions again. When you want to set the alarm, you have to press the number four. So you put your four digit code in, one, 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 and then you leave it, then you press number four, and that arms the, that arms the system. So we'll press four, and we saw it go red, and I'll sit it down, and I'll give it 30 seconds again. Whoa, that's loud, that's loud. Whoa, that's loud. That's definitely loud, that's brilliant. I can't believe how loud that is for such a small unit with just four AA batteries in the back. Wow, unbelievable. Whoa, that's brilliant. Right, I'm gonna clip the back on, as you're supposed to, I think. If I can get it right. I don't know which end goes in first. The top end goes in first, that's it. Top end goes in first. That's that done. And then the bottom end goes in, that's it. Then we can put the little screw back in if I can find it anywhere. When it beeps, I jumped a little bit. So right, we'll put that in. So you heard it there and there's a single beep. So when it's armed after 30 seconds, you have a single beep and you make sure you're well out of the way of it. And then it's live. So anybody walks in front of the sensor or it senses anything moving, that's gonna set it off and that's it. And then as we go, we're just in normal state now. So you'd be in your shed, garage, office, whatever you're doing, going about your normal business. And then when you're set to leave, you just press the number four again, it beeps, that comes on. After 10 seconds, there's another beep that gets you out of the way. And then it's active and live. How great's that? Real bargain, I think, for 20 quid. And to be able to link it to other systems as well, I think that's fantastic. Yeah, a couple of screws to screw it in. You can mount it anywhere. Like I say, you could put it, you know, put it on a shelf, put it somewhere hidden halfway beside, behind something. Fantastic bit of kit. So there you go. If you like that, give me the thumbs up. Subscribe if you can, please. Anything nice to say, pop it in the comments section below. All the details about this alarm, the tool station code, etc., will be in the, uh, in the description. So thanks for watching. I'm Jimmy the Mower. I'll catch you on the next one.